Hey guys, we are now in Chicago. 2021 is here and Palestine International Broadcast goes international. Follow us for more on the social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. again today we are going to visit the Palestinian American consulate in Chicago and we're going to see how they support the fellow Palestinians abroad uh, through their works and encouragement in Chicago right here my name is Ibrahim Doikat uh, I am from the Palestinian American uh, Council in uh, Chicago. Uh, the Palestinian American Council established over 10 years ago. Uh, the Palestinian American Council uh, has a few targets. One of them in uh, the local local level, which is uh, work with uh, our community in uh, Chicago and Chicago suburbs. Uh, we most uh, well, most likely we work with uh, youth and with uh, family, needy families. Uh, we work also uh, in the cultural uh, level and health level also, like uh, providing a, a free uh, health uh, clinic, which is uh, once a month uh, in this uh, building right here. We have a few clinic and we have uh, volunteer doctors. They, they come uh, once a month. Uh, uh, helping people that doesn't have a health insurance. Uh, at the other uh, level, we work with helping uh, needy people, needy families uh, also. Also, we uh, communicate with our community by doing culture and heritage activity that connect our youth with uh, connect our youth with uh, our uh, heritage and our uh, homeland, Palestine. Uh, we do a lot of sport activity for the youth also. We uh, also do like did some uh, comedy shows. Uh, we engage with other uh, institute uh, for uh, supporting our uh, Palestinian uh, issue and uh, we try to also help uh, the needy student in Palestine. Hi, how you doing everyone? Uh, my name is Mahmoud Jasser. I'm uh, from the Palestinian American uh, Council. Uh, I'm a board member. Uh, we here in the Palestinian American uh, Palestinian Council, we try to uh, be more active to interact in the American society here with the American institutions. As uh, American citizens, we have the right to be part of this society. We are encourage our people, our uh, children, our uh, men and women to uh, get involved and to be part of these institutions and to participate in the elections and to be to, to get involved to 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 elect to be elected in, in the institutions I'm sorry and this is very easy for us I believe that some people they say that it's it's very hard it's it's hard to get inside but I believe that all the time I say that we don't need to knock the door but the door is open but we need to step in and to be part of this uh, society uh, we are we have a lot of uh, members of the Palestinian community uh, run for elections by for example we have Rashida Tlaib she's a congress uh, woman now and we have Ilhan Omar we have uh, Rush Darwish he ran but he didn't uh, have a uh, luck to win but uh, at the same time we have another like uh, people they ran for like uh, local government like uh, municipalities and uh, school board and uh, chamber of commerce me myself I uh, was elected like seven years ago uh, as a board member in the Oklon uh, Chamber of Commerce I'm, and I'm still I'm very active and we give uh, the great picture of our society, our Palestinian community. It's always good to see the international community being involved, uh, certainly at this time uh, of the century where anyone could use any other extra support 
for any kind of cause, especially in the Middle East, Palestine. Uh, God bless everyone and stay safe.